Hey, y'all. Uh, it's your girl, Happy Teach. I am back sporting a new hairstyle. I got a haircut. Um, I am going to go over today some of the coolness in Adobe Express. Today, I am going to specifically show you how to animate in Adobe Express using the video timeline, which is awesome. All right, so let me go ahead and share my screen so you can see what I see and we'll get started. Let me share it. All right, so over here on my screen, you see that I'm working in a project. I'm um, working on my weekly uh, series of something that I share with you about Adobe Express. Okay, so here is an image I created, I put together. This is the background. Um, I made a little logo-ish type image and then my character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a multi-page document for this. So I'm going to, one, I want to duplicate this one before I animate it. So I'm going to go over here to this plus sign and I'm going to duplicate it. Notice you have other options. You can make another page of the same size, but it will be a blank document. You can do a custom size or you can duplicate. I'm going to, or you can create a video directly from here. I'm going to duplicate it. All right. So now I have the static image that's on page one, and I click these arrows to go back and forth. And now I'm on page two. And I want to duplicate this. I want some things to happen um, in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select something. And you'll notice with it being selected, I can go down here to the bottom. So this is the background that I'm selecting. And I have this animation. Um, option. So I'm going to click on animation. And what do I want to happen? I want the background to fade in. Okay. So when it starts off, it'll be just this yellow screen. This is how I envision this. It'll be just this yellow background. And then this um, tree, um, the image is going to fade in. So I'm going to click on in. And I have other options. Look, I can hover over it and you'll see what'll happen. You can have it grow in, you can have it drop in, you can have it drift in, you can have it bungee. You got some really cool, fun things you can make it do. I'm going to go with just a simple fade in. So I'll click on fade in. I can play with the duration. Like how long do I want um, this fade to happen? So I can, right now it's set at one second. I can extend it if I wanted it to go like maybe two seconds of fade in. I don't. I'm actually going to be good at the one second. All right. What type of personality do you want it to have? Right now it's set as soft. Do you want it to be energetic as it fades in? Notice it's a little faster. Do you want it to be loud as it fades in? You know, and it's just a little bit stronger. Do you want to just have a strong fade in? Or do you want it to be smooth? Or do you just want it to be soft? And I think either smooth or soft, I like um, in this instance, okay? All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is, all right, I got my animation with this and then what I want it to do, so I have looping, which means it's gonna do something continuously while it's on set, that's not what I want. And then I can do out, which is how do I want this to fade out at the end and I, or how do I want this to animate out at the end? And I'm gonna choose fade. Okay, so I got a nice smooth fade. And if I were to play this, you would see it fades in and then it goes throughout, you know, how long, and then it fades out. And that's what I want with um, this. Okay, so now I'm happy. Now, how do I animate the other things in my timeline? I can click on it, but notice I don't have a way to individually um, control it. And that is because down here, this little toggle that says show layer timing, you have to set it for on. With it on, now you'll see that I have this on its individual layer and I can set what I want it to do. And the way that you select each thing, click here, you click on it and then it's gonna give you that timeline for that. So like right here, my week with Adobe Express, I think I want that to come in next. So I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the timeline just a little bit, maybe at, right now it's at a five second video. So maybe at like, and I have that background fading in at one second. So I'm gonna say a little bit of overlap. I'm gonna say at 4.3 seconds, I'm gonna want my week with Adobe Firefly to pop in. But now how do I want it to pop in? Let me click on this animation. And let me say, I want it to, maybe I want it to um, rise from the bottom. Ooh, I like that. 
You know, I can make it shrink. I think I'm going to do rise. I think I like that. I like a rising from the bottom. So I'm going to click on that. And again, I can set the duration and the personality. I like it soft. Um, I might change this one to smooth. Let's see. Yeah, I'll keep that one as smooth. Now, what do I want it to do anything? Nope. So I'm going to say out. So what I want to happen when it goes out, and I'm just going to do a simple fade. So it's going to fade out. So if I were to play this right now, you will see my background. You'll see that comes in. I like that. Now, the last thing I want to animate is my character. When do I want this character to appear on the screen? So let's see. See these dots telling me what's happening? These are uh, um, keyframes, kind of like keyframes that say, oh, this animation happens this, this animation happens here. So now when do you want the other one? So I'll set up at like 1.5 second. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is bring my timeline. So now, as you can see, if I go back, um, nothing's on the screen. Then comes the um, then comes the leaves, and then comes the words, and then comes my animation. Okay, so now what I want Happy Teach to do, I'll go down here to animate. And in this one, I'm going to have it as far as in, I think I'm going to have it come in from the right. So I'm going to have it slide. Now, as you look at it, you're like, Andre, what are you talking about? You have it sliding, but it's sliding in from the wrong side. I'm going to click on it, and then I can play with the direction. I want it to slide in from that side. Okay, and then let me see how that looks. Too fast, but I do like it. So I'm going to do duration. I'm going to make it... Maybe this happened over a second and a, a 1.2 seconds. And then I don't want it to be so strong. I think I still want this one to be smooth. Now, let me look at smooth and let me look at soft. Soft. Strong. Energetic. Oh no, happy teacher is energetic though, right? Just got energy. I'm going to have it be energetic. Let's just do it for kicks and giggles. All right. This one, I'm going to have it do something all throughout when it gets in. So do I want it to blink? Do I want it to pulse? Do I want it to jitter? I don't. Do I want it to butt? Nope. Breathe. I kind of like that. It's probably going to be breathe, y'all. Let's see. Yeah, because all these are... Okay, I'm going to do breathe. So... Then when I have breathe, and also, if you put an animation on that you don't want, all you have to do is hover over it and click that trash can, and it goes away. So if I don't want breathe, look at that. It goes away, and it's no longer there. Okay, but I do want breathe, so I'm going to bring it back. All right, and how fast do I want it to breathe? Do I want it to be speedy? Oh, yeah. Now you know that I'm popping right there. No, I don't. I want it to be just a subtle movement. Back and forth, yeah, even a little more slow. Okay, just something to catch the eye. I'm gonna go ahead, I can do smooth, or I can do energetic and make it all crazy. I don't want to do that, but I could, you know. All right, I'm going to go ahead and keep it at smooth. How intense do I want this to be? I can set the intensity of this one, you know, make it kind of crazy. Look at that, or let's keep it something normal. I'm going to keep it something normal, like down here. All right, and I have the option to remove our animation if I don't like that. And then how do I want this to go out? I'm going to have them all fade out. All right, so if I were to play this animation right now, this is what it looks like. got the leaves, got my words, and then I got my happy teach coming in. And then everything fades out. But I'm going to reduce. I don't want this to be right now. This is about five seconds. And that's not what I want. I want it to be about, let me see, just a very short animation. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this down to like, let's say three and a half seconds. Let's see, one second, two second, three. That's going to be too short. I have a feeling. But that's okay. Let's just see how this goes. All right. Play. Here we go. Here we go. And out. So definitely a little bit too slow. So I'll go maybe four seconds. Let's just see. Uh, da, da. 
it didn't even have a chance to do a full loop. I guess four seconds was uh, four, five seconds was okay, but let's see. Okay, I'm going for it. And then the next thing that I want to do, so I have this animation, and I'm going to close that just so you can see some of the other stuff I can bring in here. So I can still even bring in, like, I'm going to go back to my media, and then I can bring in, like, video. So you can still bring in video. So if you had a video that you wanted to play in the background or whatever, you can bring that video in. That'll be another video where I actually do it. And this, and you can also add audio. And I want you to know this because if you wanted to add audio, and let's say I put happy, I can put some happy music in. I'll play it, kind of upbeat. You know, so you can put some music in and it comes in on your timeline um, the same way. But today I just wanted to show you that you can do animation. So that's all I wanted to show you. So that's all where I'm going to stop. And in a future video, we'll go over that sound and we'll go over those um, videos and some more stuff. But so to export this, all you do is go up to this download button. So you click on download. And then it's going to ask you, do you just want the selected page or do you want all pages? Because remember, we have that um, that static uh, photo on the first page. And then we have this animation. I'm gonna say selected page for now because I only need one to be in this MP4 format, which is for movie. And I'm gonna click download. While this is downloading, you can also add a scene to this um, if you had different scenes that you wanted. So um, let's say this scene was showing this and then you wanna go into the next scene where you're showing um, you know, what you did during the week and things like that, which in the end of my video that I actually am going to create, it is going to be a full video. But for now, that's pretty much it. When you download it, it's going to go in your downloads folder. And let me pull mine up real quick, just because I spoil you guys and I want you guys to see the whole thing. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, let me go ahead and grab my downloads folder. And then... Okay, so in my downloads folder, now I have to make this a little bit smaller so you can see it. Okay, I'll go here. So in my downloads folder, you'll see I have this file that says Week of Teaching Firefly. And if I were to play this for you, I ain't gone. Okay, if I were to play this for you, then it will play. You'll see it comes in. There it is. That's our video. Play again. I'll move this over here. Play it one more time. And there's our animation. All right. So again, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. When you do that, it really does help my channel out a lot. And I, and it tells YouTube, hey, people want to see this. And then I can produce more content for you. All right. Thanks for watching. And until next video, ta-ta for now. Ta-ta, 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 ta-ta.